Hello, welcome to this video. I wanted to talk to you today about the snare drum and to give you a demonstration so you learn a little bit more about the instrument. So this is the snare drum. It makes lots of different sounds. You could use the neck of your stick on the side. Um, you could also use the tip of the stick and the main part of the stick just to hit on top. Etc. Etc. It's very, very versatile. Now, the reason it's called the snare drum is because at the bottom of the drum are the snares, the tiny little wires there. And these are attached. Uh, by string to the lever. Now watch what happens uh, to the snares when I turn the lever off. Can you see there? I don't know if you can see that. Yeah? So when we usually kind of keep them on, when the snares are on, they're in contact with the bottom drum skin. This is traditionally, this would have been like animal skin, but it's now plastic. You can get clear ones, you can get white ones, coated ones. There's loads. Um, so yeah, when you strike the drum, what's happening is the sound waves are hitting the bottom skin, which in effect are then hitting the, the snares, which gives it those vibrations and gives the, gives the snare that like distinct crackly sound, right? Um, so that's what gives it that sound of like the drum rolls and marching bands. I've also just remembered whilst recording this video that there's a Pilates class going on next door and I've already been told off about the noise levels and I'm, mm, mm, yeah, who knows? Wish me luck. <laughs> Hopefully they don't interrupt or I'm not interrupting them. Uh, so yeah, when you turn the snares off, it gives it a totally, diff totally different sound. Like I've already said, you kind of usually turn the snares on. There is another sort of screw, if you like, that you can tighten the tension of the snares. Wow, we're getting into real serious detail already. Um, you might see these as well on the side of the drums, these screws, these are called lugs. Now, where are my car keys? Let's go, car keys. So yeah, this is a drum key. Now what you can do is you can tighten the tension or you can loosen it down as well, all right? And uh, in theory, what you could do is if you undid all of these lugs, you could take the rim of the drum off, you could then take the head off, you could see this is probably on its way out, it's pretty worn out. Um, although I think Charlie Watt, the, Charlie Watts, the drummer from uh, Rolling Stones, I swear I heard that he didn't change his snare drum skin for like 40 years or something. So it's up to you. I also heard another drummer, I think from the tremolos, a friend that knew the drummer from the tremolos said that he liked to play a snare drum and he gaffer taped um, a packet of cigarettes over the top and it had to be, there had to be six cigarettes in the pack, otherwise he didn't think the snare drum sounded that great. So you can do loads of things. You can put tape over it, you can put a towel over it, which will completely change the sound. In fact, the Beatles recorded a lot of their records um, with towels on, on the drums to kind of give it that 60s muffled sound. Um, yes, you can do lots of different things. So you could take, you could replace the head of the drum or the, the, the skin, as I say, undo the, the rim, and then you could take the head off, you could clean, you could then get inside the drum uh, to do a bit of maintenance to clean it up, and then do it everything reverse. Buy yourself a new skin, uh, you know, 10, 15 quid from the shop, drum shop, put it back on, tighten everything in place. Now, this is a metal shell. Uh, traditionally, uh, drums were made from like wooden shells, and they still are actually, in, in a lots, lots of cases. 
Uh, that is about it for the snare drum, I think. Uh, oh, the other one other thing you can do, this is going to be very loud. Sorry, Pilates. Sorry. They're probably doing some deep meditation. Uh, meditation is good, by the way. I think it's good. Uh, I'm not taking the mic there. I actually do meditate, so just saying. Uh, what you can do is you can do a rim shot, and this is going to be very loud, or you hit the stick and the, use the, 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 the neck, the body, at the same time on the side. <laughs> yeah, that was quite loud. <laughs> Uh, might have to pack away now and uh, head home for dinner. Whew, sorry. Um, anyway, that's, that's been a demonstration of the snare drum. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned something uh, about, about the drums. Um, yeah, if you've got any questions, give us a shout. All my details are in the box below. All right, love you, bye.